And we is back once again with another reaction video, man. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you guys are doing all right. I'm Code Code. I do daily reactions each and every day. So if you guys are new, go down, like, and subscribe to the channel for more daily reactions. I'm back. I'm back at it, man. Once again with some more videos, man. We got another one on our hands. We got Carwile. This video is from Carwile, most luxurious truck in the world. So we're gonna react, react. We're gonna react to this pickup truck, and it's gonna be very luxurious. We're gonna see what's in it. We're gonna see what it's about, and we're gonna um, just see how cool this truck is. Uh, how cool this truck is. So if you guys are ready, let's get it. This is the new Mercedes at Trump's L, and it is the most luxurious truck in the world. In this video, I will talk to you more in cabin to explain why it is just so posh for a truck. I'm also going to talk you through the updates Mercedes has made to its biggest, baddest truck, and believe it or not, I'm going to drive it. Spray test it, maybe it will launch it over the stunning quarter mile. Anyway, now is this the new era of the semi-trucks? Luxury? Because you know these drivers, I think they live in these semi-trucks. Because they on they be on the road like almost every day, so I'm pretty sure they spend most of their time in their truck. So the more they they making it luxury, I guess. Hey, I'm on what's up? And you're watching car car. Car. Buy a new car, then head to Carlo, car. and my team will help you find you your best car. Most of their time in the truck, so they want to make a luxury car buying and purchase site. Mercedes first introduced this generation of electronics back in 2011, and in 2019, they made quite a few visual changes. However, external differences to that truck for this very latest version, though you have to be an absolute mother trucker to spot them. I'll put them out now. They are LED headlights, which apparently help save fuel. And we now have a smoked effect for the actual charging. The big changes, though, for this generation of truck are on the inside. So I'm just going to climb the board and go oh. have a look. Oh, wow. Right. That's cool. Oh, oh, actually, you I didn't climb. Wait, what? Where's the window? Oh, I think this is definitely a, door. a better way to get in. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Oh, from the <laughs> right. Now, from the inside, I'm just going to go at the interior of this truck, it's got a touchpad. TV, isn't it? It's very calm. That's cool. I've got, got digital driver's display. I've got an entertainment system like a normal yes. Mercedes. I've got snazzy looking trim. Leather steering wheel. Leather steering wheel. Leather steering wheel. Leather steering wheel. Instead, got this big screen here and cameras. Touch screen. That's pretty cool. I can see the truck quite easily. Now, some of the new things on this truck include. A new low seat. Apparently, truckers like to sit low, so it's a bit more car like for them. So, Mercedes has lowered the seat. They've also got some seats. new seat trims, which are more uh, luxurious. Yes. Yes. But if you want it higher, you can, of course, kind of raise it up and you have suspension in your seat. Uh, uh, that's a bit too hard. I'll go lower. Let's go lower. Oh, oh sorry. I knew shouldn't have had a car last night. <laughs> Another thing Mercedes has done to this truck is improved the sound insulation, so it's quieter when he's driving it. You even got seals on the doors, like that. so when you shut the door, it sounds like you're shutting a car door. Listen. Yeah, this does sound like a car door. Oh, it comes in here, actually. For instance, I can move the steering wheel up and down. And oh, oh, and I release it using my foot, so I'm moving easily driving. We have, of course, got our CV mirrors. They're now not as long as the truck anymore; it's illegal. So that. Is operated all hands free. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's so much storage in this thing. So we've got a cup holder there, cup holders there, bottle holders. So far, it's looking pretty luxurious. Down here. And then so kind of more luxurious. More storage, more storage. There's so much storage. In fact, you can actually option to have a more in here. Oh, I know this is You see, truckers often used to do like the shaving in the door mirrors, but they obviously can't because this doesn't have any. It's got cameras. So Mercedes give you this little mirror here. You can oh, this is a mirror. Shaving in it. You need a shaving mirror. <laughs> Just in case you need to trim your beard. So this is what I'm We have a table Just in case. under here. You put it in there. You can fold it out. It's a very sturdy oh, wow. table. Quality. Quality. <laughs> That's pure quality. Oh, so it's not called the Giga Cap for nothing. In fact, there's enough rooms to have a That's TV cool, mounted up there so you can watch it in bed or sat here. Ah, I want to show you this. It's pretty cool. 
obviously you can get some chill drinks on you when you're driving for miles and miles and miles. This thing has a fridge, and it's a big fridge. So there's a bottle of water in here. Do you drink some more drinks or some more wine? Some more wine. Some red wine. Some red wine. Some red wine. Some red wine. You also got a table. Now I understand what they're gonna be needing wine so for the road. In this other seat, if you haven't got a passenger, and enjoy a snack. But you got another little, little table, table for some snacks on this truck. This is a dude with a bear tail. That's, that's where I'm yeah. spending most of my time at. It's on snacks. Oh! And there's a bed. They've added a mattress topper to the. That's cool. This is where you sleep. Memory foam mattress. You lay the bed down, put the mattress on, and you're good to go. The beauty of this topper is that if you've got a holiday, you take this with you. And so if someone buys a cab and has an accident, then when you come back, you can put this on top so you don't have to sleep on their jizz stay. Now, from, <laughs> sorry. from up here, you can control different features like the air conditioning, the heating. You can also control the stereo. You can put on those surround view cool. cameras as well. So if you hear some noise in the back of your truck and you're not actually human trafficking, you might think that someone's trying to steal your goods. So you press that button, look in the cameras and see if anyone's trying to break it. Or so you can control the lighting. That's nice, that's lighting. nice. We also have some blinds. Yeah, you got some nice little cool features. That's a pretty cool truck. If you don't want mosquitoes getting in, you can put this mosquito net over or you can just have a bit nice and dark. There's some air. Okay, so I don't know how to operate that. <laughs> you get the idea. But what Mercedes have added that's new is this, look. So here's your curtains, which you can use to like stop people looking in. You got that Mercedes logo there. I don't want to have a good time. You just pull the curtains off. Mercedes logo. What Mercedes have done now is added the three-pointed star, so it looks cool. Mm -hmm. You've also got it on the inside of the curtain as well. Yeah, that's cool. Isn't that nice? Oh, there you go, come here. Uh, uh. Oh. Thought it was going to have an accident. <laughs> now, to prevent you having an accident, Mercedes have also updated all the safety systems on this truck. So it has things like pedestrian detection, so auto brake to stop you running over people. It also has a facility where it will monitor you as you're driving, and it can spot if you suddenly. I wonder if this inspired people to become a trucker now. You know what I'm saying? As they upgraded all these luxurious items in the truck and they updated the comfortability of it, does this make you want to become a trucker? You know what I'm saying? Hey, if I wanted to drive trucks, you know what I'm saying, and I felt comfortable with it, I probably would become a truck because I love driving as it is. But I just don't love driving big trucks, man. I wouldn't drive a truck. I just I'd rather drive a car. But that is another step, though. That's a that's, that's a step forward to push me to want wanting to become a trucker if that was uh, my alley. You know what I'm saying? Pass that behind the wheel and will automatically slow the truck and it'll unlock the door so that someone can actually get in and give you emergency help. Now let's talk about power. So this Actros L has a 13 litre straight six turbo diesel engine that pumps out 530 horsepower and 2,600 newton meters of torque. Drives the rear wheels, well, those ones there, by a 12 speed automatic gearbox. That's cool. And I experienced it for myself. Under the hood. But now you have to decouple the trailer because I can't legally drive it with the trailer attached. Oh wow, you can't look at Why? I wonder why not. Oh yeah, the, that's like for business. You can have that for yeah, yeah, like a, you can have like some type of business uh, certificate or something, something to do with business, so you can only drive it without the trailer. Finally, on the that makes sense. I'm being a kind of like dirt on the road. To keep an eye on me, this is a bit weird. Never driven one of these on the road before. But it's surprisingly easy. Now I've gone on about SUVs having a nice elevated driving position. Ain't nothing beating an Actros L for an elevated driving position, apart from maybe a helicopter. It's so high! Actros L has a very loud indicator. Repeater, let's do it. So like someone's knocking on the door to get in. Ooh. Do you know what? I'm glad I've not got a trailer because I think I would have just gone over that car pretty badly <laughs> with a trailer attached. Don't you think, Dirk? Are you sure? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. What a trailer. That's what I'm going to Get up to 80 kilometers an hour quite easily. That's your cruising speed. Though, because I've got it in power mode, I can push on to the legal limit, which is 90 kilometers an hour now. I've pretty, pretty much hit the, the limiter. That's, that's it. So now I'm going to drive this for about 500 miles at this speed. That's it. That's basically trucking people. That's trucking people.
there. Not sure what the door is, but the one I need is just the door comes on. What's up, Mike? Where are the trucking? A bit of a blind spot, because they're bigger than your A pillar. You want to get some business and consumer journalism while driving a truck. How am I doing something for you? You know what you guys think of the truck? Do you guys think it's luxurious? You guys think it's kind of natural? Do you guys think it has auto-proof control? Yeah, it's pretty good there. It's pretty cool. We've got this touch pad and a nice steering wheel. Big Mercedes logo. Mercedes logo is everywhere. Cool throughout the bins. And I uh, got a pretty comfortable setting, yeah. one with some accessories for around your truck. You can look at the camera. That's pretty cool. And now we're on this pretty comfortable. Got the horn working. Is this something everybody dreams about? That's what everybody dreams about. It's always in that big truck horn. It sounds like a shit. Using that 530 horsepower. We've got the actual power. I'm gonna have to take this guy. Yeah, another truck. I thought there's a company. I don't know which company, but I know there's a company that makes electric trucks. So I don't know that's gonna come out with those. You know what I'm saying? The new electric trucks. I don't know how luxury those are. They have a touchscreen, nice seating, seats, accessories. Well, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the future, guys. The future is the trucks. If you actually slow the truck down, it's quite easy to judge it. Because it's electric trucks. The future. Now, this would be fun if I had the trailer attached. Let's check out the car's going to be going to the trucks. New trucks, too. Look at him whipping this thing. He's whipping. He is absolutely whipping. Well, the center of gravity is very low. The acceleration is pretty decent, you know. If I accelerate. Can you kick down to 11th gear? Yeah, that's enough. If there is so much torque, there is loads of torque in this. Ah, there you go. That's a safety system. That's good. That's a sidecar system. Does that work to detect cyclists as well? Yes. It's the only system that you can get in a truck that will break the truck to a standstill before hitting a cyclist. Oh, that's good news, because I'm a cyclist. Hmm. That does always scare me a little bit. Yeah, damn, right. That's going to be weird across the lanes, isn't it? Yeah. Did you feel it wanted to bring him back? See, you got some more accessories, the new technology. Stuff, I'm being brutally honest. Keep driving safe. Oh, weave it. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Let's get the car swerving. Because you know the truckers can drive for a long time. Once you start swerving, that's what makes that noise. Indicating that you're saying no above that line. This is the actual of the future. Now the story about this is the future of the trucks. Look, man, the future of the trucks. Thousand horsepower and four thousand newton meters of torque. Big Mercedes truck. You see, we're fully loaded. This thing with the trailer, we're talking forty tons. But we're almost quite close to Mercedes. Mercedes is going to launch it because he's allowed to drive at nine knots. But my time is launched using my special time. I was going to do a launch. Just there. So go on, Roland, hit it. Let's see how quick. This truck is from north from zero to sixty kilometers an hour. Under. So. A hundred and twenty seconds. But is this quicker than if it was a diesel up truck? Okay, so let's see what it takes to get to eighty. Come on, we're climbing. We're